Hello, I'm Charles Brown. I'm here to share with you some important thoughts concerning goal setting. Like you all know, we all have goals, we all, we all have plans, we all have projects to accomplish in our lives. But today, I want to bring to you, to your mind, the importance of setting a goal and following through. Of course, these are a series of strategies and teachings. But today I want to focus on the importance of planning your goals ahead, setting goals ahead. You must have to understand that you got to have plans ahead. You got to have plans and goals ahead. What, what, what is a plan? A plan is an actionable step that ones have to take toward achieving his or her goals. An actionable step that you need to take in achieving your goals. That's what a plan is. Maybe you have set a goal to, to be financially free, to gain financial independence. Or maybe you've set a goal to lose some weight this year. It doesn't matter whatever goal you have to do, as far as it is worthwhile. Your goal has to be worthwhile. And then you need to plan your, your goal ahead. You need to have a plan to achieve in that goal. You know, in one of my favorite books, the Bible, there's this principle that the greatest teacher of the world that ever came into this world, Jesus, taught his followers. It's remarkable what he said. I want to read some of those thoughts to you. And maybe that could help you today to start repositioning yourself and guiding you to what to do as regard to you setting goals and achieving them this year. He says, suppose one of you want to build a tower. You want to build a house. Will he not first sit down and estimate the cost to see if he has enough money to complete it? If, if he lays the foundation and is not able to finish it, everyone who sees it will ridicule him, saying, This fellow began to build and was not able to finish. Or suppose a king is about to go out to war against another king. Will he not first sit down and consider whether he is able, to, is able with 10,000 men to oppose the one coming against him with 20,000? Strategy. He's saying, look, you, you want to achieve something. You set a goal. You say you want to build a house. You want to build this. You want to accomplish it. You want to start a company. You want to get married this year. You want to start a family this year. That could be your goal. It's a first sit down. Plan it. Write out your goals. Write out your step you will take. Get a plan. Do a proper research. Get a plan. Question. If for instance you, you want to start a family. Are you ready? Have you asked yourself, are you ready? Do you have the emotional readiness? The emotional maturity? The intellectual mental maturity, the social maturity, are you ready? How ready are you? Can you handle the challenges that come in marriage, in having a family? Have you prepared yourself for that? Have you thought about it? You see it? Do you have an idea of who you want to get married to? Do you, have you thought about what you should consider that the person, character should be that you're bringing into your life? Sit down. It, all of these dotted lines, all of these details are very important in you achieving your goal and be satisfied. So I encourage you to today, today, I encourage you today that you plan your goals. You sit down, take time out today, today, 
take time out. Don't be too busy. Maybe when you come back from work, maybe you come back from, from a business shop, get, take a time and plan. You say, this is what I'm gonna, I want to make progress in my business this year. This is a goal. I want to, I want to increase my income this year, my revenue on my business this year. I want to increase on my profit this year with 20%, with 30%. It doesn't matter. Whatever the dream you have, your goal is, it can, it, it, it can happen. It will work. It is possible. All you need to do is to have a plan. You need to have a plan. The greatest teacher that ever lived in this world encouraged us that we should have a plan. You see, he encouraged us that we should have a plan. So I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging you today that you think of the plan. Like I said, a plan is an actionable step that you're taking or you're going to take toward achieving your goal. So you write those steps down. You write those things down. You say, I'm going to take the steps. I'm going to take the steps. So set those goals. Set those goals. And I want to bring to your mind one more thing. You know, it is wise to have a goal in mind. It is, it is wise. It is prudent that you have your goals in mind. You need to have your goals in mind. Not only do you have it on paper, have it in your mind. Think about your goals on a regular basis. You see, my favorite book says, a wise man think, he think ahead. He thinks ahead. You see, you, you, you put your goals in your mind and let it control you. Let it, let it well up all the time. Let it come up from within you. Stay your goal on focus. Put it on focus. Put it before you. And every plan that you need to take, take them. Don't vacillate. Okay? Don't vacillate. Take the steps. You stick to it. You say, I'm going to take the steps. I'm going to take the step. And be firm. Be firm with your goals. Be firm with your plan. If you say you're going to read three hours a day, read three hours a day. You see it? Read. Ensure you meet it up. Ensure you go on and read it. If you say I want to do a, a push-up, 150 push-up a day to keep yourself healthy and strong, do it. Why not do it if that is your goal this year? Why not set the plan up and do it? If you need to eat an apple a day to stay healthy forever, come on, stay healthy. If you want to live, eat, eat, just eat an apple. What, what will it cost you to eat an apple a day? You know, some people will not eat an apple a day. They won't. They knew if they eat an apple a day, they will stay healthy. But they won't. They won't. But not you. You're going to make up your mind. I'm encouraging you now. I'm encouraging you now to make up your mind that you're going to stick to your plan and you're going to follow it through. Maybe you have a goal to write a book this year. What are your plans to do? Do you plan to write books? You write just to write, you plan to write 10 pages a week or one page a day? Then write one page a day. Before you know it, it, in a couple of few months, like two to three months, you're done writing about uh, over 100 pages a day. Over 100 pages. And before you know it, you're, you're done writing about 300 pages in a year. And you would have achieved a goal of writing a book this year. Stick to your plan. Be passionate about your goal. Be passionate about your goal. And if you do that, you will sure be glad and have a success. I'm going to be coming to you again to share some of those part of, uh, part of setting, goal settings with you. But for now, I want you to stay happy. Focus on your goal. Let your goal inspire you. Let your plan inspire you to take action. Until next time, I remain Charles Brown. 
Stay blessed.